Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you a quick update what all's going on here at YWAM Kona and what all's going to be happening here in a few weeks. We're going coming towards the end of our um, DTS school, which is insane. Um, it's flown by so fast. So many amazing things have happened. Um, in about three weeks, we're going to be going on our outreaches, being sent all over the world, a ton of different places. Um, my team's going to be going to the Himalayas. Um, super, super excited just to spread the love of Jesus and just take all the knowledge that we've gotten um, this past couple of months and just apply it. So we've really been, um, every week we've had a different topic, every week we've had something, some new hill, some new mountain to climb. It's been so challenging, it's been so hard, it's also been so rewarding. Um, and I've grown so much. I've seen so many people around me grow so much um, into the men and women of God that uh, we were designed to be. So there's so much that we've been learning here. Um, they've really been preparing us, putting as much knowledge into our minds as we can, and, um, helping us uh, go through breakthrough and uh, getting new revelations, um, not only in who we are, but in who God is. So a lot of what Fire and Fragrance has taught me is just how to be exactly who I am and how God always needs me right in the place I am, that I never have to put on a front or put um, put on a brave face. I can just be exactly just how how I am in the moment. It's taught me to be so vulnerable. It's taught me um, to confront every problem, not just to be things under the rug. It's taught me that I can be wild and I don't have to be so timid and walking on eggshells around people that I can dance when I want to dance, I can sing when I want to sing, I can um, laugh when I want to laugh, I can uh, run around and <laughs> just yell Jesus' name at the top of my lungs if I want to. That it's all about being guided by God and it's not being guided by our fear of man. And it's it's such a wild bunch here. They're all so amazing. And the fire is just so, so vibrant and strong here. That fire specifically is so, so strong on my, my outreach team. Um, they have become like a second family already, even before going um, out into the nations. Just here in the, this small time we spent together, we've already, I've already seen them as my brothers and sisters. and. Um, as my adopted family. They're all so passionate. They're all so just ready um, to spread God's love. They're so hungry for knowledge. They're so hungry to know who God is and hungry to know more. And they're such loving and compassionate people who no matter what you're feeling, no matter what place you're in, they're always going to love you. They're always going to speak life into you. They're always going to just fight for you and fight for your heart and fight um, for you to know that you're a, you're a child of the High King and that there's no reason you should ever doubt that. So we have so many amazing people on our team. We have our fearless leaders, Alan and Sammy, um, both amazing men and women of God. I, I love them so dearly and I'm so happy to have them um, as my adoptive parents in this. And for our guys, we have Matthew, Matthias, and Kevin. Um, for the girls, we have Kiara, Stephanie, Kelsey, Andrina, Tandis, Katie, and another Emily, which is super confusing, but we're gonna have to come up with nicknames or something, just to make it easier, I guess. Each and every one of them have a uniqueness that they bring to the team, and they're all such an important, vital piece in this puzzle that we're forming. Uh, for this mission to go into the Himalayas and see people saved. Each person on this team um, is meant to go to this. Each one is, God has called them to this. There's so many great things He has in store, and I cannot wait to see them. Just asking for prayers right now that God speaks through us and that He gives us the words. And He knows each and every single person that we're going to meet. He knows exactly where they are. He knows exactly what they need to hear and we're just praying right like we're just asking that for prayers that um, and we're praying as well that he'll just guide us in every single moment over there and that we will just love recklessly and radically like he does every single person we meet and 
that we just show them that we just help them see God's love um, and that that's shining through us because it's not about us it's not about what we're capable of it's about what God's capable of doing through us and what he's capable of doing through our yes so I just want to ask if anyone has it on their heart um, if God's calling any of you um, to help support us through this, whether it be through prayers or finances, there are still a few of us, uh, myself included, needing funds for our outreach. I just know without a shadow of a doubt that every single one of us are going to be going and that God's already orchestrated. He's already there in the future where the bills are paid. My part is um, being vulnerable with you all um, and speaking not only for myself but for my team and just letting you guys know um, where we're at, um, what we're doing. If you have any more questions, feel free to message me or call me. I'm gonna add everyone's uh, links for donations in the description below. Uh, if you have any uh, questions about different ways you can donate to uh, certain people, I just pray right now, like each and every person I showed you that you just pray specifically for each person to see who God's calling you to donate to. We just thank you so much. I thank you so much that, because without you guys, without um, people out there supporting us, we couldn't do this. It's so amazing, uh, just the generosity in people. It's like you might not be out here with us, but you're just as much a part of it, a part of this as every single person here because it's, it's you guys, it's you who are supporting us that make this that make this possible and make, make it possible for us to go into the nations and to reach people who haven't heard God's love, who don't know that they're a son and daughter, who don't know that they're so unconditionally loved. He died, he paid the price so they wouldn't have to suffer. But you could have that peace and it doesn't mean it's easy, it doesn't mean it's always easy, but they can have that supernatural peace in the midst of all this chaos that happens in this world. We just thank you so much. We're so appreciative of you, every single one of you. If there's anything you need prayer for, please do not hesitate to comment below or message me or call me or whatever it is. Contact me. Tell me what you need prayer for because I have a whole army of prayer warriors here that are fighting for each and every one of you. Just thank you so much. I love you guys so much. I love you so dearly. God loves you guys. And let's go to every nation until every single tribe and tongue has heard the word of God. We'll take on the world